Hey guys, hello there, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. We're gonna try something different today. Uh, the music sounds loud. Let me just let me just turn the music down. It sounds a little loud. That's better. Today we're gonna try and save a disaster live. I've went through my emails and this one looked interesting. Very, very, oh god, very interesting. Okay, um... Can we save Mother Russia? It's 1942, and things are looking weird already. So uh, I suggest we hop in and see just how bad things really are. Iron Man mode is on with historical AI focuses. So let's see, let's see. Welcome everyone, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, game, why you lag so much? I Bad computer just to play you. Come on. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. What? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. We're gonna go over everything that's wrong here. Alright. Just let me let me let me take it all and let me absorb this because What the hell man? Um, none of your, none of his puppets are in the war. So, why are these troops in Romania? No one will ever know. They're, they're, they don't have to be there. <sighs> why are all these troops standing here? Y you know, you've got a bigger problem here. Oh, I'm already getting a headache. Okay, so for anyone watching who hasn't played a lot of Soviet Union, let me give you a little bit of advice. If you've done like this guy and opened correctly and you've got a Romanian puppet and you've got a Turkish puppet, then all you really have to do is not call those puppets into the war and stack your entire army on this narrow bit of Poland here between Poland and, uh, what is this? Is this Lithuania? Yeah, and Lithuania, assuming you don't annex Lithuania. And then you've got a super teeny tiny narrow front that you can stack 200 infantry divisions into and Germany will do nothing. Nothing! Instead, however, if you decide to fall back to the Dnieper and you don't actually even reach the Dnieper in time, well, 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 Alright, so, ahem, <laughs> let's check out equipment. Ah, yes. Yes, okay. 10,000 guns short, 4,000 artillery pieces short, 7,000 trucks short, 7,000 medium tanks short. Why? Why? Oh god, he's tr- oh, like, I, I appreciate the ambition, my dude. I appreciate the ambition. This is, this is good, aggressive thinking. You're thinking outside of the box to try and deal with the enemy. But now is not the time to stack 29 infantry divisions on Lipaya when the Germans are past Minsk. Okay, uh, these coasts look- Oh, I have so much work to do if I'm gonna fix this one. Oh, so much work to do. Okay, bear with me, guys. The next couple of minutes may not be super interesting, but I have to do a complete, complete restructuring of the military. Like, everything has to be redrawn. I will try and hold the Stalin line. Um, in, in as far as there still is a Stalin line. Um, I, I need to reorganize. Oh, my... God, what have you done? And why have you done it? What's this here? Why are all these divisions just like randomly spread out somewhere? Let me let me think. Let me think. Do you have tanks? Okay, I would assume you do. I'm gonna park you somewhere off to the side. Uh, you've got. Motor... Don't... Okay. Okay. This... This is not a motorized division. 
this is a bunch of trucks. Motorized works very well, but not like this. Not like this. <sighs> okay, so these can just be... No, 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 no. I need... I need... Oh. I have so much to do. No, okay. I'm gonna find all of his tanks. I'm just gonna find all of his tanks first. Uh, there's another tank here. And is that all of the tanks? No, oh, there's another tank here. Okay, that was all of the tanks. He's got 11 tanks. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Fine. Who can drive the tanks around? Do we have anyone? You know, everybody's busy. So I'm just gonna give him to Zukov, and Zukov will have to just give up his infantry units, assign them to somebody fresh, somebody who doesn't have a lot on their plate already. Here, Yazov, hold those for me. Okay, Zukov. Um I'm just gonna park this guy on Moscow, because I no, that's that's a little too far from the front. I'm just gonna park this guy like on the Bryansk. Bryansk is fine. Just, just reorganize there, figure out what the tanks can do. No okay. ambition again. I appreciate the ambition, my dude, but no. This oh. no. Oh, no, and then this again, no, what, 14, what, uh, 14 fours are not terrible, but they're not nearly as good as they used to be, and, well, they're just, they're just not that good right now. They're just not that good. L let me give you a couple of alternatives, but first I've got I've got to fix this, okay? L let me fix this. So I'm gonna yeet all these guys. Bye bye. And we'll just leave the infantry because I think yeah, this is decent. I can work with this. I can work with this. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of artillery just to make things a little more spicy. But then let's look at the others. Uh, useless. Uh, I can work with this later. Utterly useless. Uh, useless. Okay, this is not act not not terrible actually. I can make this work if I can get your tanks organized. Like I would turn this into something like uh, this. Thirty width. It's not optimal, but it will work. It will work. So I would say 30 with armored, like this. It is something that can and probably will work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. This is the tank design. It's not the world's greatest, but it will serve. Okay, so how does that handle okay, so our logistics are much better than they used to be? We can improve still. We can still improve. Uh, what are you making? Oh boy, that is a lot of, a lot of infantry equipment. Okay, that is way too much support equipment. How much support equipment do you have? Nine thousand. Okay, let's let's ease off the gas here, partner. Uh, trucks are fine. I could make a couple more trucks. Toda A is also fine. Ooh. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna need convoys. I'm not gonna need subs. I'm not gonna need heavy fighters. I am gonna need fighters. And I'm gonna need casts. Uh. Yeah. And I'm also gonna need armor. But not as much. I need... I need I need air before I need armor. And I'll, I'll just leave a couple of factories on strap bombers, I guess? Okay, everybody seems to be asking, what is this T-34 design like? Let's check it out. Petrol electric engines. Are you Ferdinand Porsche? Are you really this... And he's got cast armor. 
This is the World War II Germany mindset of building tanks. Make them big, complicated, and useless. Look at the tanks. Look at the speed. 4.9 kilometers an hour. 4.9. Exactly, Ilya. We will need to initiate Operation Beg. Operation Beg is a go. Okay, so I'm gonna change this tank. This, this is useless. This, we might as well not have any tanks. If this is what we have, might as well not. Okay, medium turret, three-man turret. Medium cannon, eh, I prefer something... <sighs> improved small, improved heavy machine... <sighs> I think the close support gun is gonna do us much more good. We're gonna get the Christie suspension, speed. Cast, no thanks, I'll take welded. P -p -p Petrol electric. <laughs> no. No. We're gonna go with the gasoline engine. So this brings us to something a lot better already. Uh, what else can we change? Radios. I'm gonna need radios. And uh, no second turrets. Do I want anything else? Sloped armor? Eh, makes things quite expensive. Why not? Why the hell not? Engine goes up, get our speed up, and 80% reliability is kind of where I want to keep it. So, this is better, I think. Um, I'm not going to make tank destroyers, Ash. I, I, no, oh, wait, no, uh, Angel, I know tank destroyers would probably be better because they need fewer of them, but it would mean completely having to redo that template. I'm just going to... I'm, I'm going to stick with this and start making these. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll just build these. And start refitting. What else? Uh, Toad AA, good. Fighters, good. Okay, everything else is... I, I don't want to use the word reasonable, but it will serve. And then we, we buy rubber. We will buy a lot of rubber from British Malaya. Fine. And that should be our industry fixed. Well, fixed. Uh, let's see, researching. <laughs> Special forces. Why? What is your plan? Get guns? Your boys need guns. Okay, these two are okay. I wouldn't have gone dispersed, but I can see your line of thinking. Soviets get a lot of penalties, and... This works well for the Soviet Union. Retention's not bad. Uh... What a oh no! Oh, you didn't do a single artillery tech. We're we're all we're eight years behind. Was this? Oh, you're eight years behind the curve. What else did he not do? Oh, he didn't do any of the support guys. Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, you can watch me break down as I try to save this one. I I already regret picking it. Ah! Don't worry, Miles. It it only gets worse. It only gets worse. No, trust me. You, you'll love you'll love your new one. You'll love the new one. T armor is okay, I guess. I could pick up some more, but it's it's not a priority. Artillery is just completely ignored. I don't know why. He just completely ignored one of the most important aspects of his military. So okay, at least he didn't waste too much time here. Air. Okay, this is good. Air is up to date. He's got cast, he's got fighters. I would have liked if he had better strat bombers, but they'll do. It will do. He skimped out on his mechanical computing. Now, I've harped on this before, but when you run the numbers, it makes sense to skip this one. It Usually games don't last long enough to make this worth it. So, this is okay. This is... Ah, uh, okay-ish. All right. And then in the... Oh. You didn't even get improved machine tools. Come on, man. Give me something to work with. Come on. Oh. God, fine, fine, all right, what else, uh, 
focuses, I guess. What? What? No. Okay, let me see here. Um, You've not improved Stalin at all? Sucks. Boost this guy. Boost this guy hard. You haven't even... <sighs> you know, if, if you ever wonder... What what goes on during um, during the recording of a disaster save? It's about half an hour of this, me screaming at the computer, and then I get to recording. So you get to see this suffering live. Okay. You didn't improve your army at all, so we're stuck with the worst debuffs of the Red Army. You want cohesion first, you want rehabilitated military, and you want military reorganization before the war fires. Oh, hey, Fuss. Ah, uh, haha, this looks so bad. Good luck. Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Thank you for the super chat. Yes, this looks so bad. So, as I was saying, you want this branch. All the way down to military reorganization before the war even starts. And if you can manage, get experts in camouflage as well, because that is just so spicy to fend off enemy cas. Other than that, okay, you've got the research slot. This is okay-ish. Okay, yeah, this one, I would get transpolar frights and some of this stuff for free factories and to fix the Red Air Force because it's so bad. No! He didn't do any of... Oh, wait, no, he did, he did. Okay. <sighs> Finished the five-year plan, he got the third five-year plan, and he got shift to armaments production. Okay, ideally you get the rest of them, but okay, it's okay. We, we can fix this. But if you can ever, ever find it in your heart to complete this one, please get foreign experts. This, this design company is just so good. It's so good. <sighs> you know, I need so much that I don't know where to start. But I'll, I'll leave you guys with one more tip. Don't bother with any of this, if you just want to survive, Middle East diplomacy, useless. Baltic security, it's nice down to secure Leningrad to get your, your you eat your tiny puppets, I guess. Anti-capitalist policies, do not do this. You want the allies to be your friends. Recover Alaska, Am ambitious, ambitious. I'll give you that. Uh, these also... Pointless military advisors, okay. Eastern allies, okay. But most of this is just pointless. You've, you've wasted a lot of time. Um, I'm going to try and get cohesion first. That is going to directly buff our army. Right. Uh, government, we've got... you got... No! Where is your military high command? Where? Could, could you point out where you where you sent military high command? Oh no, uh, guys, he does not have. A... What? He has Alaska. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He actually got Alaska. My man. He got Alaska! <laughs> but he didn't invade Finland. He got Alaska, but decided not to secure Leningrad. No. Oh. Oh, I need to sit down. Wait, I am sitting down. It's not enough. Okay, military high command. What do you got? Not a lot. Um... I'm just gonna hire Vatut in here. Army experience, nice, but infantry attack and defense. Uh, try get at least a couple of these guys. You know, army XP is so vital, so important. You want a chief of the air force, obviously. You want a chief of the army. Don't ever get Khrushchev. Where, where are all your? Did you purge everybody? This looks very bare bones, and I think everybody got purged.
Seriously, like... Doesn't Stalinist Russia have more advisors available if you rush, uh, if if you rush the Great Purge? I can can I see who got purged? Oh, yeah, it does look like a lot of people got purged. Wish I could see who though. <sighs> but but he did get rid of Trotsky. Trotsky's gone. <laughs> All right, so we'll keep Kalinin. Um, we'll keep the spy guy, I guess. Uh, Khrushchev. Might as well keep him. Unless we can replace him with the Patriarch here. Sir. Why are you on service by requirement as the Soviet Union? Why? Why would you willingly hamstring your economy for more men? You have three million men in the field. Why are you mobilizing another 6% of your population? Why? Troops are not your issue. You don't need more men. Oh. Oh. Please, Jesus, help me. So I think I want to go off service by requirement first. Yeah, definitely. <sighs> red Navy. Uh, okay. At least there is a Red Navy. Uh, just sit in the Baltic, I guess. No, the Black Sea. And this is the Baltic. Do we have anyone in the Baltic? Uh, where's the Baltic fleet? Friend? Where's the Baltic fleet? Oh, thank you for the host, Shipper77. Ah, here's the Baltic fleet. Okay. Uh, send them back home to Leningrad? Fine. I'll, I'll make... I'll, I'll figure it out from there. <laughs> oh, your ships are already on fire. What do you mean, Georgios? Is Trotsky not gone? Uh, this is a 20% if Trotsky's per... No? Wait. I think Trotsky's gone, though. Let me... Well, I've got spare in... in um, sorry, I've got spare operators. Might as well send one to Mexico. Uh, put people on my borders. This is where spies actually make, you know, make something happen. I don't know, Gianluca, if I can actually save it. I'll figure out if Stalin's there. Uh, if, oh. Well, uh, that's certainly an Air Force. What have we got here? Uh, it's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, it's better than nothing. I am going to need to organize these, though. So I'm going to just disband all airwigs and start fresh. None of these look particularly experienced. So I'll just get fresh fighters up. All right, that should help. Support the Ukraine. Interception. <laughs> I know, Veliladon. I know, but when you when you get handed something like this, you, you get a little bit of a panic. You get some panic, and you don't really know what to do. Okay, I think no, 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 go away. Um, I am trading forever. I, I need to organize the army, but first let's see what we have to organize. Um, so you've done none of these, but I like this. Oh. Yes, something went right. Something went right. Yes. <laughs> okay. He went superior firepower, integrated support. Yes. I can work with this. This is something that's good. Thank you, my dude. Thank you. Nothing in Navy, obviously. Add nothing in air. But we can fix that. But this, this helps. The supply is... Terrible. 
the event. The supply is terrible. But we'll fix the supply. Oh yeah, speaking of supply, if anyone wants to play Russia, any Russia, and your plan is to use the Dnieper line, that is, sorry, uh, that is this big river. If you plan to use that big river to set up your defense, that's perfect. It is absolutely perfect to defend. One problem though, all of your big supply hubs are on the other side of the river. You've got Kiev, you've got Bobruisk, and down here, Dnipropetrovsk. Either you set it up so you defend those, so, so you actually hold on to those hubs and not yield them, which will need preparation and strong defenses, or you abandon those hubs and build fresh ones behind the river on, on the right side, yeah, the correct side of the river. Like this, you have a massive, massive red gap here next to Kiev. Because there will be no supply here. Uh, it's gonna take forever. It's gonna take... Oh. Yeah, it's gonna take forever to build up a supply hub here. Uh, down here, I could hold on to the Dnipropetrovsk. Which I'm gonna try. Uh, you could cheese this one by just building a naval base like here or something and plugging it into the network. But I, I will hold on to the Dnipropetrovsk. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, so much to do, so much to do. Up here, supply is also probably going to be a little bad. But we can just increase the railways once everything else is sort of fixed. Now I need to organize the army. Uh, oh god. Where is everyone though? Where is everyone? Um, oh god. Okay, who, who is in command of this? Um, you. Everything back to infantry. And bring the boys home to Crimea. You can guard Crimea if enough of your troops make it. Uh, the rest of you guys. Uh, Vlasov up here. Who do you have under your command? Bunch of garbage. That can go. Can't. Let's just turn everyone into infantry. There. Um, who are you and why do you have 20 divisions here? There. Glass off there. Let's take six away. Just tr I'm, I'm just trying to balance my armies a little so things are not as terrible. But it's gonna be uh, a tall order, I'm afraid. But I'll do my best. I'll do my best. And set up a defensive line here behind the river. This is the the gate. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm uh, I'm a little ill. As I was saying, you want to send up a set up a defensive river down to Chernigov, and then this little this little V in the river. That is Army Group North. Who do I want assigned to Army Group North? Um, pretty much everyone who's already here, so that there's troops in the vicinity to hold off the German juggernaut. I think most of those troops are Eggman Golikov. Yes. You guys defend that. Um, Budioni, you will hold the south, which is going to be very, very heavily contested because we will have no supply around Kiev. I'll draw the line through Dnipropetrovsk so we can hold it. And then around back to the river. The reason why Dnipropetrovsk is easy to hold is because it's a little ways off from this supply hub and the Germans don't have the strength required to push the Dnipropetrovsk. That's that's pretty much the only reason why you can push in there easily. Does that make any sense to anyone? I hope it does. Sorry if I sound a little delirious. I'm just I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. <laughs> okay. I I do hope Zukov can lead us to victory with his 11 understrength armor divisions, of, of of which all are terrible tanks.
Okay. Okay. Uh, who else do we need to assign? Oh, there's a bunch of fresh divisions back here without an army. Infantry, all of you. And start spreading them out. You have to guard the coast if you ever make it. You. Uh, again, why are you even here? Infantry, please. And just... Yeah, just join that army, I guess. Is that everyone? I think it is. I'll deploy these a little uh, centrally. What is central? Smolensk? No, Bryansk. I'll try and deploy you around Bryansk. Just standardize everything into infantry. We cannot afford anything fancy. That will fix our truck deficit as well. How's our deficit looking now? Still pretty terrible. Still pretty terrible. Okay. Um, why are you on martial law? Got the NKVD. Use liberated workers. It's it's much better. Uh, if you're uh, a communist country, just use liberated workers. And unless it's something you can hold on to for four, five, six years, so something you can annex in 36 or 37, then you want to use a civilian oversight or local police force. If it's going to be something that you don't hold on to for that long, just, just pick either liberated workers or the fascist version. <sighs> okay. Um, what else? What else? Okay, we've got a couple of battles going on here. We will need to cycle these. I am going to cheese the hell out of these. So I am going to... Well, maybe not this one. I'm gonna try and pull everyone back. Make sure everybody reaches safety. These cannot fall. These have to stand. So I will be using last stands exclusively there. But that will be fine. Uh, what else do I need up here? Uh, I'm gonna put up my cast if I can and I'll put up a couple of strategic bombers I saw you had some they're just strat ones but it's better than nothing and they can help they can help strat bomb Germany and railways plus logistics okay construction so you're building a supply hub there. Why? No. Bye bye. Uh, you've got a bunch of mills queued up. You've got a. <sighs> Look. Um. I'll be real with you. I don't like anything you've done here, so I'm just gonna get rid of all of it. Okay, just gonna get rid of all of it. I'm not even gonna try and think what your plan was, because I don't think there was one. I just, I just want it all gone, so I don't have to look at it. Sorry if I'm a little harsh, but no. No. God, this is so much clicking. I'll, I'll leave the mills. The mills are fine. I need mills anyway. So I'll build these two. Sorry for the pop-ups. Uh, I'll build these two. And then, what do we do then? Uh, supply hub. I'm gonna need one here. And we're gonna need one urgently. But it's gonna take forever to build. It is what it is. Not much I can do about that. Um, what else am I going to need? They're going to break the railway lines at certain points. So I'll need to beef up the railways. Okay. Like I need to make a sort of bypass here so everything remains intact. Uh, up here is fine. But again, I, I, I sort of want everything to be at least level 2. God, it's so much to build. I'll figure out the mess with the railways later. <laughs> up one level, up one level, up one level, up one level. Yeah, that will have to do. Oh God! Yeah, that will have to do. Jesus Christ. We've got 3 million manpower. Jesus, what were you thinking going to surface by requirement? Why? 
Why? Well, just why? I mean, I think I think this is all I can re realistically do before unpausing. There's nothing here. I could prop. Uh, yeah, some of these just don't make sense, my man. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Can't you see it's killing me? Oh, uh, who are you? Oh, we've got another entire thing here. Well, uh, <clears throat> let's reorganize these then. Yikes. Okay. <sighs> you there. Uh, there. You have too many units assigned now. Okay. Uh, where is the egg concentrated? Uh, all along the line, so I'll leave him. Rokosovsky. No, that's not Rokosovsky. Oh! Sorry, if, if I'm getting dragged into this, it's just really... It's really intense. Really intense. Uh, Richard, the... This is what the template looks like. This is what he had gave me to start with. It's not terrible. It's something I can work with. But it's something I want to change. Uh, where was I? Right. <sighs> I was sighing. I was sighing a lot. Okay, I want you assigned to that army. Go there, there, that's good. You... <sighs> no, I don't want you at all, actually. Let's spread these guys out and... Bye-bye? I guess? You! Oh, tanks, okay. Uh, useless. Quite literally useless. Uh, where do I want you? <laughs> I'll just use these guys to fill up any gaps that I have in other divisions. And delete the leftovers. I mean, assuming... Oh. Yeah, you might as well go there. Like, assuming we have enough time to actually reorganize, this is looking decent-ish. Most of these guys are in the north, though. I'm starting to doubt myself. I'm starting to doubt myself. Yes, I'm going to consolidate the tanks, Duka. I, ju I just need to... I'm going to organize them over at Bryansk and then start consolidating. Ah, oh, where was I? Kherson. Yeah, I need to build a port here, I know. But, um... There's a lot of stuff I still need to do. I got distracted. What was I doing? Uh, right, organizing the military. Um, well, there's probably going to be armies that can can go. Probably this one from Yezov or this one from Leonid here. He's too far out of position. I'll never get there in time. Uh, <clears throat> I'll just reorganize. Where is that guy? I just saw him earlier. Ah, here he is. Leonid. Uh, what divisions? I need fewer... I still need to select troops that I can get rid of. So the weakest army. 
And what are the weakest troops have to go? I'd say it's most mostly the oh, they're already retreating. Do not look at the industry. You'll only make yourself sad. Do not, I repeat, do not look at the industry. <laughs> You'll just make yourself sad. Yeah, just guard these ports. I don't even need that many troops on the Black Sea. I, I technically control all of that. Uh, just need to get rid of a couple more of these divisions and I can, I can just delete, uh, delete the rest. Uh, let's see here. Sorry, if, if this has taken a little, uh, that's because I need this time. I absolutely need this time to just <laughs> salvage this. Okay, and then I'll delete these remaining divisions. <clears throat> it looks a lot cleaner. I just hope I can get everyone into position. Well, Hjalmar, I don't I don't think there's any saving this. <laughs> I don't think there... Look at the industry. 101 mils, which is nice, and only 74 civilian factories. Oh, God. Alright, guys, bear with me. I am gonna try and unpause. Oh, big yikes. Where are all those guys going? Of course you're going there. Of course you are. Ah, what have I done? What have I done? Uh, we might actually just lose this tile. Uh, that doesn't actually matter. I can just skididdle, skidaddle, skidoodle. This is where we need to make sure that the last stands. Yeah, sure as I am. I, I don't care. I literally do not care. Just need to make sure the last stand holds seven days and seven days. Okay, we've got seven days where I don't have to look at that. Thanks, UK. <clears throat> oh. oh, hey, Pigeon. Yeah, I should send this one to Alex. Just to make sure he never plays a disaster game again. Uh, that would be the the effect, I think. Uh, consolidate. Sure. So many tank divisions without tanks in them. It's wild. Just withdraw. Why are you doing these weird things? Oh god, no! Why is the AI like this? Is that six divisions I'm going to lose? Probably. Just withdraw like I told you. <laughs> oh, no, they reinforced it. Am I going to get out? Yes. No. Yes, no, baby. No, I'm gonna lose those divisions. Oh, thanks, Jelsny. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Sorry, I forgot I turned my microphone off. Oh, look, I... I look away for two minutes. We've got pushed outside of Kiev. Now this front line's gonna be a lot bigger. Supplies horrible. Like, absolutely horrible. Um, we're also at the... Uh, doesn't matter. South will hold. I need, I need, I need, I need supply now because all of our hubs are overloaded. He did not build up the supply lines. As a result, even if you have such a glorious red army, it, it cannot be supplied. So, great job, man. Great job. Draw. Just withdraw. Why does the AI make those really questionable decisions when it decides where to move troops? I'll never understand. Uh, Daniel Burke, no, that decision's gone. You can only do it once, and I, I guess he already did it. Because I don't have the option. I could probably do a propaganda campaign of it. Oh! Now this is looking a lot better, though. We have infantry equipment, we have artillery... What would happen if I... Not enough artillery though, ooh. Ooh. Let's see, then I don't need this many guns. I could put a little more on artillery to fix that deficit and on the air to try and fight for it. Uh, I'm already getting a headache. Oh yeah, I'll definitely hold on to Dnipropetrovsk like this. <sighs> you are getting pushed here. Okay, uh, what army is this? What army are... It doesn't matter, just take him out. Give him any general. Doesn't matter who. Last stand. There. I can forget about that tile for the next seven days. I know it's cheesy. Honestly, don't care at this point. You here at the edge of your supply lines. Maybe I can push you. Take a tile back. Uh... Oh, this is not looking great at all. <laughs> oh, why? Okay, these guys are losing as well. Again, it's a meme. I know, I know it's a meme, but I need memes to keep me alive right now. Nikurasu, the tanks are not good. I made the template into this, so it's it's decent. It's not great, but it's decent. But the tanks he was producing, I don't know if I still have them. Um, can I see which he was producing? Because this is what I'm making now. This is the current production. It's a dec It's not the best tank, but it's a decent tank. What he was making was was not. Let's show that. No! This is what he was making. Okay, did you get that, Nikarasu? <laughs> this is what he was making. Screenshot that, but uh. <sighs> you don't understand, bro. I like to be angry. Oh, those red bubbles. We shall end the middles as super chatted 20 Norwegian kroner moral support. Thank you, my friend. I, I need I need it desperately. Let's see if we actually have any full strength. No, I don't I don't think we will actually get any full strength armor battalions. Any at all. Oh, right, lend lease. Um, let's create a big, 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 big deficit. Even bigger than we already have. And start asking for lend lease. Who's our friends? Mongolia. Uh, what do you got for us? 
no. Yes. Yes. It's fine. Uh, who else is here? Nobody. Turkey. Like, I love this Lendlease meme. It is wonderful. Especially countries that don't really build a lot of stuff on their own. They can end up with a ton of equipment in stockpile. Yes, yes, and... No mediums, okay. Is anyone else here who doesn't hate us? UK. Eh, don't really have the convoys. Ooh, come on. No. Why not? Oh, they don't have a good opinion of us. <sighs> Is it just me has the audio cut out? Doesn't seem like the music's playing. Ah, there we go. Um, who else can I ask for stuff from? Kurdistan. Do you even have factories? I don't care if you have factories. Send me guns. Uh, that leaves us with Estonia and Lithuania. Sorry if this is a little a little slow. I, I just... I need this stuff. Okay, so what are we getting? Oh, oh look, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at these numbers. Look at Estonia, 40,000 infantry equipment, 600 artillery, 600 artillery and 6,000 guns. Turkey, almost 20,000 guns, even six tanks, okay. Respect, Turkey, respect. Oh yeah, this helps. My boys, my boys, they're coming in clutch. Uh, no, stop trying to attack. That's pointless. Uh, yeah, I kind of I kind of want to get this built as well. Oh, there's so much stuff I I just need to be built. You know, this might actually just be a pointless province to hold now, but he's got level 7 forts on it, so... Might as well. Oh, did I even ask you for guns? Yes, yes, I did. Sorry. Uh, just get rid of the deficit now and just train a couple more divisions, I guess. Can I add anything? Something like recon. Recon might help. Uh, it's not not the best. It's not the best. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with recon. Keep retreating, good. Got a bunch of pointless tanks here. Like most of these tank divisions, air quotes, don't even have tanks in them. Yeah, most of these don't have a single tank in them. In fact, I think all of them combined give us one fully equipped not even fully equipped medium tank division. Okay. Jesus. Um, Simone Papa. The reason why I'm not using my tanks for that is because look at those strength bars. 
Like I just said, out of the uh, seven, yes, yeah, seven divisions I have, only two of them actually have tanks in them, and none of them have 500 tanks in them, like like they need it. It's, so these are literally, they're, they're infantry divisions that they just labeled as tank divisions and called it a day. Oh, this is getting spicy. Uh, again, I know, I know this is kind of meme guys, but what do you expect me to do? The air war is not going favorably for us at all. Uh, I just noticed something. So, he has the aircraft designer, the good one. Perfect. But his airplanes are not, not tagged with it, so I need to upgrade his fighters. <sighs> there, now they're actually tagged with the upgrade. Yeah, um, this is not, not gonna go well. Wait a minute, are you... What? Oh, at least he's ambitious, um... At least he's very ambitious, he's working on his third collaboration government in Germany. You know what? If we can actually turn this around and start getting that steamroller going, Germany's gonna cap real fast. <laughs> this is just so weird. Why would you... Like, why? What's the point? What's the point, even? Yeah, Christian. You know, I would. I would if I had any. Maybe I would consider it. There's no supply. There's just no supply anywhere. Uh, we'll build the two pieces here at Kherson, then the supply hub, and then meanwhile just keep building the railway, I guess. We need railways to keep our troops supplied. But it looks like most of this is turning into green bubbles. This is going to be the, the toughest flashpoint, though, because we're at the edge of our supply lines and we're under continuous pressure. Please, Zukov, bring my tanks home. Again, guys, I know it's it's really meme but sorry. Uh, uh, Jasper plays, I'm thinking. Uh, the save games for this, I post them when I put the video, the edited video on YouTube. I put the save always in the uh, description. <laughs> oh, that's true, Otto. That was my... I think that was my, my favorite game I've ever played. When I managed to save a capitulated Germany. That one was hilarious. It was actually really fun. Uh, oh, why are the subs out? <laughs> Naval invasion. <sighs> Just don't, don't question it. Just don't question it. Uh, it's 21, so it's 9 p.m. Belgian time. Oh god, they're hurting me here as well. Why is there literally no supply in this region? I thought we... Yeah. Like, this is a massive problem. Um, like I said, if you're gonna give up Kiev, it's fine. But make sure you have supply on the right side of the river. 
Ay, 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 ay. I don't even have transport planes to help out. Again, another meme move, I guess. Uh, Alexander Holt, they are in our faction. Estonia is in the common turn. I don't know how he did it, but they're in the common turn, so... There's that. Uh, yeah, Jels need They got nerfed, but at this point, every little bit help. Oh my god, my fighters are just getting shredded. I should just... Oh, I should just ground them. <sighs> How do I even do this? Chewy shoot the five dollar super chat. I hope help. I hope this helps feed the family. Thanks, Chewy. I hope you're enjoying your stuff. Uh, I look forward to seeing what happens next with your mod. I much enjoy America. Uh, Nikurasu. He did not upgrade the railways at all. Like, at all. I still need to do all of that. So, these are level 2 at most, and some are even level 1. So, I have to do all of that still. And it's gonna suck so much. Ay, 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 ay. This is definitely not looking spicy. This is not spicy at all. Uh, they'll hold. They'll hold unless the divisions get destroyed. I need reserves. Where are my reserves? Japan cancels the non-aggression pact. Good thing I know not to worry about that. Okay, officer corps. What do I want? What do I want? Uh, professional officer corps. Go. Like, I know, I know, this is stupid, this is meany, I don't care, I just want to be able to hold, hold the damn line. I know, Patrick, I know, I have to keep this alive, because if this falls, this is cut off. That is why I've got Dnipropetrovsk defended. I should be able to hold Dnipropetrovsk and the other tile. I do wonder, I do wonder how long it would take for the Allies to start putting some pressure on the, um, the Germans. But then again, the Allied AI just really isn't that good. Well, they're still holding on to Greece. Nothing we try matters. Nothing we try matters. <laughs> you know why this is? It's because you didn't work on your supply at all. 
it's such an important aspect of the game, and everyone seems to just completely ignore it. I don't understand why. Why? It's, it's like a core feature of the game. As they couldn't have highlighted it more in their advertising. And your thought is, well, that doesn't matter. <sighs> Change the supply to trans... You think I haven't already? These are all motorized, but that doesn't matter if they don't have range and if they don't have throughput. <laughs> railways are not upgraded. He did not upgrade the railways at all. I cannot supply this massive army. Simone, again, it's the supply that's killing me. I cannot supply the army that's already there. Putting more units there doesn't even matter. Doesn't matter. Well, Cyber Snake Lord, I'm I'm just I'm just really angry <laughs> at how he handled supply. In that he didn't handle supply at all. He he thought let's just fall back to the Dnieper line and not build any supply hubs or upgrade our railways. We'll just keep making shitty divisions. As a result, I have a lot of shitty divisions and no supply uh, at all, really. Everyone's out of supply. And of course, as a result, I am being pushed, pushed, pushed everywhere. Let's see if I can make something happen here. Ah, uh, unlikely. Nah, they'll keep reinforcing it. <laughs> they'll keep reinforcing the tile. Be nice if we could reinforce meme this, but uh, nope, not happening. I, I think it's already over. Honestly, I, I really think it's already over. It's he handled this so poorly. Um, retreat to where the supply hubs are. Well, it's all planes. I cannot defend that. We, we've got a decent sized army, but the division templates are not optimal, like, at all. I, I... Trust me, does, doesn't work, doesn't work. Four more days, this is holding... Got a lot riding on this, if we can make that happen at least, maybe, maybe something, I don't know. The rest of the line's stable, actually. It's just It's just this region, because there is literally no supply here. There's nothing for us. But I wouldn't be bitter steel if I just gave up like that, right? Let's keep trying. Uh, no. Oh god, no, Cal. I'm not gonna call my puppets. Uh, they would just get eaten, the Romanians. Lithuania would just make my border bigger. Uh, Estonia has no troops and are useless. Uh, who else do we have? Afghanistan? Yeah, no. Turkey would, again, just get eaten. And then we got Mongolia, which is just too far away to really matter. <clears throat> and yes, anyone who missed it, we have Alaska. Why? Because this guy, in his infinite wisdom, decided to go for Recover Alaska instead of trying to fix the Red Army. No, Alaska is far more important than having an army. <sighs> I am zen, I am calm. Nothing is wrong. Everything is happy. Come on, if I can just... Oh, no, these bastards are gonna reinforce. If I could just break them here, I could just... Slowly edge back. Just slowly. A little bit at a time. Am I, 
Am I asking for too much? Am I really asking for too much? Eh, the rest of the front's good. If I can just close... Oh, oh, oh! We've been pushed another tile. And they've begun reinforcing the combat. Uh, it was so close! So close! Now we're just getting pushed everywhere again. Halt, 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 halt. This is all pointless now. I could have closed this off, but, and of course the AI can react with lightning speed and funnel a thousand more divisions in. As is tradition, and now... Oh, great. The, the place where I was building the supply hub is now on the front lines, and we will never get the supply hub built, because this place will be considered in combat. As they'll constantly try to attack the tile. Oh, God. Pick my bet. I can't even do this one yet. I need lessons of war. <laughs> uh, I had such high hopes when I started. The big issue is that the enemy has all the supply. And we, we have none of the supply. Let's actually make sure we don't get completely cut off. <clears throat> I don't actually know if they still have that buff. Uh, Unternehmen Barbarossa. Yeah, they still got this until June, so we're going to need to weather the storm, lads. Quite a bit of anti-air short as well. Our fighters are slowly being whittled, 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 whittled down. Uh, this isn't good. Like, the rest of the front is holding. I'm actually pretty confident that I can hold every other tile. It's just... This place. That I... Yeah, without Kiev, this is a, like a logistical dead zone and you need supply on the other side of the river. It's, it's simple as that. Um, uh, Christian, the I don't have access to the buff right now. I think you already used it or it's no longer available, so I cannot do that. I'm sorry. Uh, and is the person who made this actually in the chat? Charlak Plaza. Is that yours? Please, my friend, tell me. What was your thinking here? Enlighten us. Enlighten us. Tell us what, what your idea was. Because you had a perfect defensive line here. It's super narrow and just stack all your troops in there. Germany will do nothing. Uh, for some reason I can't even push here. Let's not. Okay, fine. <laughs> ah, you're new at the game. Well... That's okay. This is a disaster save. So it's okay to be new. Just while you're here, let me let me tell you what you did wrong. The, the Dnieper line, so this river line you selected for your defense, is good. It's a really good. Why is it bad? You need supply. If you give up the left side of the river, you're giving away Kiev. 
and you're giving away uh, Dnipropetrovsk. Those are supply hubs. You need supply hubs on the other side of the river, the side you're holding on to, so your troops don't starve. Plus, you need railways at an appropriate level. You didn't do that, and as a result, I am suffering. I'm, 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 I'm really suffering. But Ireland's in the Allies now. Everything's fine. Uh, okay, Ireland's even in the war. Please, USA, start start spamming out naval landings. Don't just... Go oh, they've got Iwo Jima. You've got Iwo... Okay, don't focus on Japan, please. Take out Germany. <laughs> save me. Please save me. And another last stand. God, these are expensive. Hey, we've survived for one focus. On to the next. Oh, do I want desperate measures first, though? Yes, I do. Actually, do I? Because I cannot click this button anyway. No, oh, rehabilitated military. <clears throat> I see green bubbles. I see green bubbles. No, no, this one's red. Why is it red? I need that built. There. I think we've actually kind of sort of stabilized it now. Because the Germans have also pushed past their supply lines in that weak spot. So maybe we can hold? Uh oh, just as I said that, Chernigov took a massive hit. Through the front lines! W would it be okay for me to think? We may hold. Okay. Please, I need a D-Day now, though. I need a D- Who wants to break- Turkey. Can I just make Turkey stick around here? Huh. No, apparently I cannot make Turkey stick around. Fine. Fine. Uh, back down to extensive conscription. That should help our economy. How's our logistics looking? Good. We can almost, almost add artillery. That will help us hurt the Germans a lot. Ooh, I need 5,000 more artillery pieces, though. Ugh. Where am I going to find them? I got 100,000 infantry equipment. I, can th I think I can take a couple of factories off. I know there's not optimal templates, uh, George, but there are some templates that are better than others. And it's usually small differences that can make a world of difference if you're in a painful situation like this. Okay, so the occasional red bubble, but they do turn green once again. Uh, how about you go there, and you go there. Oh, if I could crush that tile though. Oh, if I could crush that tile, they would all be encircled. No, Soviet Russia is not dead, Cyber Snake Lord. Have faith. Believe. You have to believe. No! Oh! No, no, no! Oh! Fuck! I forgot. Forgot about Lithuania. Uh, why am I like this? <laughs> why am I like this? Oh, no, God. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs>
Well, at least our puppets aren't in, so Turkey and Romania are still out. Oh, I'm stupid. I am so stupid. No, it's it's all it's an Iron Man mode, and it would not be fair, really, to just reload a save game. Um. If I just extend this, I am just gonna overextend my front to hell, aren't I? <sighs> yeah, that is just gonna completely overextend my front. Uh, <laughs> that's not, but I do have these guys. Um, they will assist. They will assist. Who is my best defensive general that I have left? Enrique. Oh, a Spanish man. Okay. Lister. Save Lithuania. <laughs> Just save Lithuania. Oh, man. Yeah, there are a lot of green bubbles in Lithuania, which which is is nice, but that will that won't last. There's probably, there was pretty much no army here, no German army, and they've all woken up, though. They, they've all woken up. Hmm. Why is this guy here? Oh, this is just horrible. <laughs> I feel like such an idiot. Uh, yes, pasito. What is it? Um, I've got artillery support, AA support, engineer support, and cavalry recon. I would like to add supply companies, but unfortunately, uh, the person who sent this in researched virtually nothing. Almost nothing. So we are kind of stuck with what we've got. Oh, I, I can make Rokosovsky an infantry expert. Oh, that is... That is cringe. Oh, we're liberating a tile. We're liberating a tile for the motherland. That's done. We've pushed that Germans one tile back. Well, Charlock, if it's any consolation, I'm very happy that you kept up to date with air. This helps. We don't have a lot of fighters, but at least they're not shit. Air quotes. We're, we're still getting shot down at an alarming rate, though. Like, real alarming. Uh, not long enough, though, Frostbite. Like, Romania is just gonna get eaten. They're completely surrounded. And Turkey would also just get eaten and then open another flank for me in the Caucasus. I'd rather they just not interfere and tie up all these troops just because the AI will park them on the border and, and keep them there. That's what I want. No, I won't be able to push through Lithuania. Every time I would like move a tile forward, they can just flood in more divisions to counter it. I, I can try. Like I can try, but no. No, it's not happening. Oh, just need to hold until July. If I can make it to July, they lose their buff, and I get my supply hub in the region.
Did I give Germany free oil? Where? I didn't give Germany any free oil. Uh, all supply. Oh, trying to think of ways to counter this. I I just don't know what to do. Oh boy, I, the plane's tiles are not holding on very well. Turkey's trying to run away. And we're about to lose Shirkasi. Is this an important connection? Ah, uh, not really? Kinda, sorta? I'd rather not lose it though, so... Eat. Uh, it's okay, finality. We we had a lot of fun playing, and uh, it, the game was rigged from the start. They took my Dutch East Indies, and I'll never forgive them. But no, I, I had fun. It's, it was a pretty cool game. Well, Charlock, if... If anything, just remember that you build supply hubs in the area you're about to you're gonna control. If you're gonna give up territory, check if to see if you're gonna lose any supply hubs. You need supply for your army. Like no supply, nothing happens. Yeah, tanks really, really aren't that good. Like I'm holding on to a couple here because we have the divisions and there was a production line with decent efficiency, but uh, not the best. How long is that deficit going to last for? A, te a thousand days, so about three years. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Methinks I might just abandon tanks. We're okay though. We've got we've got the Afghani army moving in to support us. Afghanistan is coming to save us, guys. Um Okay, friends. I I've just noticed something. Look what Turkey did. You know our puppet, Turkey, that was in in the common turn, you know that puppet? You know what they did? Turkey made its own faction. And they invited Italy. Now I've got Italians on my border in the Caucasus. But Turkey is also our puppet and cannot declare war on us. What the hell? Like, what is this even? Oh, 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 and they're about to pull Bulgaria into their faction is just mind mind blown. You know what? I am gonna queue up a couple of these boys. Just just because it it would not be the first time. Something weird happens. Yes, histor no Michael Smith. Historical's on! This is an historical game. Turkey just did that. They they just did something with Italy and now I I don't know man. It just I don't know. Someone at Paradox must have thought this was funny, I guess. Okay, supply here is getting fixed. I am gonna upgrade that uh, teeny tiny bit though.
Oh, I need to have a bit of a... Stress. Yeah, Stranovic, I know Ilya, I know Ilya. It's just... Turkey's broken. Uh, Theodore, that is because if I consolidate these eight tank divisions, I would end up with one tank division. And it would not even have all of its tanks. So I've just opted to put them there and ignore them until they're almost full. And then I'll use them. It's just... Po they're just pointless. How's the supply hub doing? Eh, could be better, could be worse. Hurrah, doctrines! Uh, air. Sure. Okay. Uh. Well, well, well. I mean, that. That kind of scares me with Turkey. I, I. Technically, they. Technically, they can't. They would even join the war. It will be so weird. Uh, Scatman, they do! Th there is a historical path, but it's locked uh, into the democratic path. And I think if you force them away from that path by flipping their ideology due to puppeting, they just completely break. <laughs> the AI just starts freewheeling. And the game looks real weird. I guess this just makes Italy even dumber. This is just... Wow. Oh, we're getting pushed, though. We're gonna get pushed in Lithuania. Though, I can just contract until these guys are behind this river and... Yeah, just mark up Lithuania as lost. Doesn't matter. Oh, we're gonna lose Chernigov. I don't want to lose the state. If I lose the state, I'm screwed. Keep funneling troops in there. Uh, uh oh. Why? Why are you like this? The AI really likes to attack in wave waves. Just just build up its planning and then attack. And again and again and again and again. Uh, Otto, that's because Romania's our puppet. They're, they're our puppet and they're not in the war, so they'll be here for a while unless we say otherwise. No, 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 no. I do not want to lose Chernigov. Do not, do not want to. here as well don't want to lose these guys so guess i'll be a bit memey and chevchenko can hold of cherry cherry whatever is it all very memey yes do i care no not at all um i kind of want static warfare Smoke and fire is also very good. Or do I want flexible organization? Or do I just want... Uh, I think I want this. Yeah, I think I want more org. Org is what's gonna save me, I think. Hey Poseidon, thanks for checking this out. Whoa, bruh. I'm not a Frenchman. You take that back. 
I'm a proud Belgian, okay? I'm a proud Belgian. And yes, I do plan to bleed the Germans. We're doing quite well. We've already inflicted 400,000 casualties. Uh, unfortunately, we've already taken a bunch more, but I blame it on the other guy. I blame it on the guy that sent this in. I wish we could have held it on to this side of the river. It would make things so much easier. Uh, the best strat to beat the Germans. Well, it's either hold on to Poland in a very narrow bit here and just fight them there with all your army or sit behind this river and bleed them dry. But it's going to take a while now. It's going to take a long time. You still had 14 fours mixed in. Yeah, let's just switch those out. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. Like equipment losses are fine. I've got equipment to burn, except of course for medium tanks and and everything air related. Those are getting shot down like crazy. Uh, you know what? What if I just sent my strat bombers there? Uh, other than that, Cass. Yeah, let's let's not use Cass for a bit. I'll just leave my fighters up. I hope I can build more. We're not really outproducing Germany, are we? Definitely not, Captain Shot. You cannot do this with heavy tank only and no step back. Tanks are just, honestly, not worth it. Like, these eight divisions, even if they were fully filled up, <coughs> like, the industry it would cost to build this, I would much rather put into airplanes, because those will actually matter. Airplanes. Those will save your runs. Air is glorious in no step back. Like, it is disgustingly powerful. But we are we are holding. We are holding. Um, do I want to make any of these? <sighs> Some of these are good, especially the ones that help us build a high yield. Ooh, consumer goods, yes. You will accomplish a high yield. Oh, this is the best one. Or transport. Do I want this one? Or do I want consumer goods? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I think I want transport. Because I want that supply hub built. July 5th. Okay. Manchukuo. Okay. Oh, UK is doing stuff. UK is doing stuff. It's just doing it to Italy. Let's see if Turkey has more tanks for me. Ah, oh, sad times. No. Do you have artillery? No, of course not. No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit sick. So if I start coughing, don't don't worry. It's just it's just a seasonal thing. Oh, there's just so many red bugs. Um, why DDCC? I have. I have support anti-air. I have. They just never stop attacking you, do they? It just never ends.
Please make it stop. Please, I just want to go home. I am, Julian. I am. Well, Airflux, <laughs> you've missed most of the suffering at the start. It was horrific setting this up. This was not the best Soviet Union. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna... <coughs> ah, there we go. This was not the best Soviet Union I've ever had sent in. At all. Uh, Ryan Weaver. The difference is on intercept only they will f they will prioritize enemy bombers and fight enemy fighters that try to stop them from killing the bombers. If you prioritize air superiority, all they they, they will just shoot at everything. <laughs> I'm very afraid. Like this looks reasonably stable but it's really not it's really not oh, i need a lot more toad anti-air god i need more toad anti-air can i build why am i not building more i need build more stuff must build things quicker more fast <coughs> Oh, that's a problem. Okay. There's too many red bubbles here. And they're not going away. Should not have called Lithuania in. Definitely should not have done that. Uh, okay, we're gonna... Make some changes here. Uh, the weak units are going to be swapped out. They've taken too many hits already. They are allowed to retreat. And we'll add in some more units that are at full or near full strength. And we'll just hit this button again as soon as we can. There we go. Another last stand. And I think I want to do the same here if this ever runs out. Select this guy. Fresh general. I know, I know. Everybody's going to give me shit about it that it's stupid and memey. If it works, I'll accept it. Let's just reinforce. And, like, this is what I usually do in those disaster saves I record. What you're missing is like three or four hours of this. Me desperately micromanaging a defense until I have built up enough strength behind the front lines or I've weakened the enemy enough to counterattack. This is what you're missing. It's great, isn't it? Me slowly losing my sanity. Also, Turkey is on both sides of this war. As is Italy. <clears throat> okay. Why? <laughs> oh look, we've completed another another collaboration government in Germany. <laughs> why not? You know why? Why not? Uh, where do I put all these spies? We've got maximum collaboration in Germany. You know, if we ever counterattack, it's gonna be a quick war at least. Even spend political power on. <laughs> I 
That's actually a good point, Ilya. They play both sides, so they always come out on top. They get pushed here. Uh, might actually hold. Might actually hold. Ah, uh, this is I. I. Okay, July fifth, we get the supply hub. Kherson is fine. We even got Iraq. Oh wait, what is this? Mongolia trying to counterattack for some reason. We do have supply in the region now. Okay. <laughs> One crisis is averted. Uh, I don't think Germany has any units on the Italian border because they have a non-aggression pact due to the tripartite pact, so they, they won't see each other as enemies. Uh, uh, Lithuania is holding... But I would not call this holding strong, per se. Uh, no. No, I don't think this is particularly strong. I think it might actually be better off setting the fallback line here. And having a secondary fallback line, like, uh, here-ish? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Another last stand. Oh, we got pushed here. Oh, we'll have to give it up. Uh, I, I cannot afford a counterattack now. Uh, I could hire a general staff, but who though? Uh, Rokosovsky. Pointless. This guy's good, I guess. Cause, oh, I need Konyev. Yeah, I'm gonna save and get Konyev. That is big. Enemy air support. Yeah, I'm fighting in red air. Cons oh my god. Yeah, that is huge. Oh, thanks, Alex. Thanks. Oh, man. <coughs> Don't worry, it's not It's not COVID. It's just... My son goes to... <coughs> my son goes to daycare, and every time he brings home a bug, me and my wife also get sick, so it's it's been great the last couple of months. Like, you're constantly, like, having a cold. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, and the line is already broken. That's great. Uh, hmm. Guess that was a non-starter. Fine. Seriously. These two tanks are going to push this entire stack because I don't have supply. Oh, just a couple of weeks more. Just a couple of weeks. That's all I need. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, my God. Look at the air. Look at the air. Oh, they're just shredding me. They are just shredding me. Uh, air superiority? Um, sure, but it's, it's, they're still gonna get shredded. <laughs> Just look at the enemy fighters. <laughs> uh, 
Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna do another bit of last stand cheese here. I'm starting to run out of generals to do it with. Oh no, actually, I'm not. It's cheesy, but it works. Uh, what do I upgrade first, though? Think of the engineers. More entrenchment? Or do I, I... I really need better artillery. It's okay, Jarib. It's okay, Jabir. Sorry, Jabir. A lot of people like watching Hoi 4, but they don't really like playing it. So it's cool, it's cool. Prepare more reserves there, in case I need a... Oh, this is just so thin. Oh, this is just so thin. This is not gonna hold. Oh, losing Kiev. Losing Kiev, man. That was... If I could have held Kiev, if I could have held this river tile, I would have been a lot better off. This is where it's gonna spiral out of control, Unt unless, unless I can build this supply hub. Well, Lithuania's still here. They are slowly shrinking, though. Oh, now they're pushing me here as well, really? Reinforce, reinforce. Uh, you go there, you go there. Alright, industry's fine. I need these things elsewhere. Artillery, yes. And one more hour. Instant new last stand. Let's go. <clears throat> uh, the problem isn't bodies, Kareen. The problem is supply. The reason the Germans are pushing through so easily here is because it's a supply dead zone for us. Supply isn't reaching the army. Uh, which is why, which is why we're just getting pushed here. So I need to build up my railways and I need to build supply hubs. It's it's all I can do. So what do I do here? Desperate measures or military reorganization? Like, military reorganization is good. I need it to proceed, I need it to fix my army. But, it will make my army suck ass for 70 days. And yes, I accidentally muted myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I missed another super chat by Devi. 
I saw in an earlier video that you mentioned that you only want support AA instead of Toad AA. Why is that? Great channel, by the way, and I hope you feel better soon. I hope so too. Uh, Devi, the reason why is because support AA is much more economical. Um, divisional AA, so like the, the, the battalions themselves, they require more AA guns, but they don't actually contribute that much more anti-air attack. So it's much more economical to keep them as a support company, plus they benefit from the superior firepower trees. And Savage with a 15... Is that Australian euros? No, wait. Australian dollars? Love your videos, mate. Thanks, man. Uh, let's see. Um... Desperate measures, or I could just try fixing the air. Uh, yeah, I know, Australian Euros, I know. I could fix the air, I could fix the... I don't know. You know what? I think the army needs it more. I'm gonna wait 10 days, though. Yeah, just to meme it. Well, I didn't. I wasn't going to use that military axis anyway, France. Uh, doctrines, 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 doctrines. Oh right, they're more expensive as the Soviets. Australia is always welcome to join the European Union. We welcome one and all. I know Ra Rauf. I'll do NSEEK once they update it. I don't actually know if I can hold with reorganization because I cannot cancel this. But I needed to go to experts in camouflage. I might actually be better off with desperate measures. Oh. Yes, and then lessons of war. <coughs> or buff Stalin. Ooh, I could buff Stalin. What does this give me? Uh, is this might actually be useful. Get the four next. Oh, there's so many good things here. Yeah, I'm gonna get desperate measures. Desperate measures, and then while that's sticking down, so I can do lessons of war. I'll move over to the Air Force. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm getting a lot of coughing in. Ah, sorry if it's um, not very enjoyable to listen to. How is our supply hub looking? Oh, it's getting so close. I can taste it. Let's do another round of begging. Hmm. Wonder if you have airplanes. No. It's probably too much to ask for. Couple of airplanes. Yes, Twitch and YouTube. I, I just like streaming to both. I, I just I just like it. I mean I, I could just stream to Twitch and go for partner, but people like watching me on YouTube, so I just stream to both, and if I if I go solely on Twitch, I cannot stream to YouTube at the same time. Yeah, it's definitely time that the Allies started doing something. This is all they've done so far. Oh, and hold on to Greece. <laughs> Literally nothing. They are useless. 
Yay! More doctrines. Okay. Oh, oh, more research. Yes. We might actually manage to put this country back together in one piece. I'd be surprised if we can hold on to this. No Brotoklop, no big YouTube contract. How many viewers on Twitch right now? I uh doesn't my overlay say 91 Twitch viewers and 433 YouTube viewers. So you can see why I stream to both. Hmm. <coughs> I agree, Tech Splitter. I agree. I shouldn't I shouldn't expect anything from the AI. I was wrong to hope. Oh, we're just we're just barely keeping Lithuania on life support. Uh, at this point, I wonder if I am more, uh, yeah, sure, if I'm more or less competent than Alex, because this has given me mad, mad anxiety. Hey, I'm just gonna put these on interception, though. This is just. Oh my god, my fighters are getting shredded. Yes, I'll sign your damn non-aggression pacts. <coughs> well, John, if you can if you can point me to a place I can do big juicy encirclements, I'll be glad to try them out. Until then, I'll just sit here and hold on barely to what I have. Barely. Oh. Eh, should be fine. Yeah, I should... Oh, uh, stop coughing. Stop coughing. I should stop my planes. They're just getting shot down. Bombers are doing something, at least. Eh, not that much. Let's just let's just halt all air operations until a stockpile has been built up. <laughs> it's not doing much anyway. US hasn't done anything since they took Iwo Jima, so... Yeah, I wonder where all those troops are. At least Italy has thoroughly lost in Africa. Speed 5. Hold, girdle, hold. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. I'll sign your non-aggression pacts. Go away. Alright, Konyev... Keep my boys alive. <clears throat> <coughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, Nognix. I'm sorry, it's just... I've been having a cold for a while. Uh, Christian, my deficit is still quite large. I'm 2,000... Almost 3,000 tanks short. And I've got 8 divisions queued up. Uh, just sitting here waiting for a reinforcement, so let's give me a while. In terms of our losses, <clears throat> we've taken quite a bit of casualties. Most of these were already taken before I took over, so if not messed up too much, I think. And we have inflicted quite some hits to the Germans. We're starting to edge ahead. So we've lost 600,000 and we've killed 648,000. So could be better, could be worse. Hmm. Maybe I should just infiltrate the German army. Does it actually give you a combat bonus? I keep forgetting. I've not used this for anything else really than just making uh, collaboration governments. Ah, bonus. Uh, ambusher. Great. Uh, 
Uh, no, I'm not allergic. I'm just a little sick. Uh, I have a I have a baby son. He goes to daycare, so he picks up a lot of germs, drools all over me, and then I have a lot of germs. So I, I've been sick quite a lot lately. Ah. Okay, we're getting there. Um, I don't think they've pushed us another tile. Really? Have they? No, I don't think they have. Unless we also lost this one now? Doesn't matter. Uh, the supply hub is almost built. And when it's built, we will be solid. And then the entire railway network can slowly start filling in. And when the railways are here... Oh boy, is Mr. Schmidtler gonna be sorry he ever kicked us. Um... Ooh, factory output. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. I'm gonna get this one and then work on the Air Force. Ooh, superior war machines, you say? Eh. No. Ooh, all of these are pretty nice. Tankograd. One, two, three. Ooh, this is six mils. Ah, difficult. I could get six mils here. Um, I could improve the Stalin line. I, oh, so many options. I'm gonna go this one, produce more stuff. Oh, I can do more propaganda as well. Uh, what else do I need? Uh, division organization. Uh, no. Ooh, factory output, yes. And high yield, yes, this will help. Suddenly a lot more factories are producing. This will make our railway lines build much quicker. With railways in place, we have supply, and with supply, we will crush the Germans. We're rolling, boys, we're rolling. Look! Speed 5 and everything's not horrible. <clears throat> Everything is starting to come together now. The supply hub is built and suddenly we are no longer starving. Eh, starving a little less. Let's say just starving a little less. I still need those railways to be upgraded. Urgently. Uh, lend lease, sure, sure, whatever. Uh, I could do these, but I don't think they matter right now. <clears throat> also, blowing up railway lines doesn't matter now. I should have done it when we were walking out. <clears throat> Otherwise, I just, I just ruin my own supply if I detonate these. Oh, and again, I'm sorry for all the coughing and the sneezing and the sniffling. It's just, I'm sick. I'm just, I'm sick and I, I can't help that. I just wanted to stream for you guys. Just wanted to stream for you guys. Maybe I shouldn't have, but hey, here we are. Oh, God, I'm dying. Everybody's back and this is about as stable as this front line is going to get. There we go. Leave it at speed 5 and I'll build more stuff. Lithuania is actually holding. Like, the Germans have stopped attacking. The moment we got supply in, they just completely stopped attacking. Of course, uh, we're, we're not going to do very well on the air, but we are slowly catching up with fighter production. Slowly. We can lower somebody's autonomy. Who? Turkey, you can push... <laughs> oh, God. Let's push Turkey back down. All right, if the roads are gonna get uh, the railroads are gonna get built, that's brilliant. Oh, Greece isn't looking too good. Wait, no, Greece is actually attacking. Interesting. <clears throat> Don't worry about that, Matthias. I've actually read it. 
Thanks. I, I, I like that people appreciate my channel. I've put up a lot of content trying to help people play Hearts of Iron 4. It's the reason I started making the videos in the first place, because I, I just want to help people have fun with this game. I love this game, and I want to share it with people. Uh, da, 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 what do I want? <coughs> uh, improve the engineers. Uh, totally not my alt account. I know. Um, the problem with that is that in No Step Back they changed how Civil Wars work. And the amount of stability... Oh, no. Um, party support you need for your Civil War to work. Air quotes. The best way to handle that now is to either wait until you have a little more um, party support before you start the Civil War. Or just flip via referendum instead. There's... I, I don't know what else to do. They, they've they really made it weird. <coughs> uh, can I change my templates yet? I want more artillery for my boys. Ah, uh, we'll have to do. We're holding, we're producing, everything is just fine. Oh, it feels good to be stable. That's okay, totally not my alt account. That doesn't really roll off the tongue though. Alt, yeah, alt. Yeah, I don't... <coughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, this must be insufferable to listen to. That's actually a good point. If I lend least China some guns, we get some hilarious results. Let's send China 15,000 guns. And a little bit of support equipment. You know what? I might actually send them some... Maybe some trucks. China likes trucks. That ought to break Japan. Uh oh. Uh, da, 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 da. Save my spot. Oh, 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 oh! I was gonna say Germany stopped attacking until until they don't. <clears throat> oh God. <clears throat> They just build up a massive planning bonus to then try and come at us. But I think... Nope. Bubbles are green. Bubbles are green. It's fine. I can even sit back in my chair. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. It's great. Yeah, I, I could use a select all, but doesn't that just use all of your infantry equipment? I don't want that. All right, 24 fresh divisions for the front lines. Where do I go with these? Um, hmm. Could help out Lithuania. Yeah, I'll just go help out Lithuania. Yeah, this game is saved, but we don't do saved. It's not saved until we get to the peace screen. Then we'll call it saved. I will break Germany. So help me God, I will break Germany. Oh, they're gonna regret this. I'm gonna make sure they do. <clears throat> Just a little bit of micro defense on. Oh, the red bubbles. <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, auto twenty may be a bit harsh. I'll, I'll settle for like 
two Germanys, maybe three with Hitler still in command of one of them. No, I never really know what to pick here. Like, static warfare is good if you just need to hold. But flexible org or smoke and fire? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Smoke and fire? Flexible org. Like, I'm leaning flexible organization when I counterattack. Really, Link? Smoke and fire, why? Is it is 5% breakthrough that big? Eh. Eh, it's a pickle. <laughs> it is a pickle. Yeah, flexible would help out the tanks, but the the tanks are sitting behind the front lines doing literally nothing while I still wait for more to be built. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, the speed is very nice, especially when you start your counterattack, and it also helps people. Um, it also helps your units get back into tiles that are red. But I think. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go a flexible organization. Yeah, I don't need victory or death, Patrick. I'd rather get flexible organization so I can use mo uh, use move units into uh, red bubbles quicker. That way I can I can at least reinforce them on my own terms. Um, I'm thinking though Lithuania might be gone. Oh, they're really getting pushed hard now. Uh, ooh, yeah. <clears throat> I just hope that Lithuania doesn't take my army with it when it goes. Um, I would prefer to fall back to this line. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna put these guys here, just in case Lithuania decides to go tits up. No! Naval invasions currently... I, I technically have the naval superiority, yes, but I don't have the spare troops. Maybe I could hit them around Konigsberg and liberate this slice of Lithuania with my spare troops, if I have any. Uh, right now, though, I, I really don't. Let's train some more troops. Uh, put them here-ish. Need a lot of artillery, though. Bye, Frostbite, and yes, <laughs> we are well past the two-hour mark, but we're winning. We're finally winning, or at least not losing. I'll settle for not losing. <clears throat> uh, we're slowly losing, though. Slowly. This army should be able to hold. I've got units on the river now building entrenchments. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Now it's the now it's the Germans who are starving, not us. Well, Oliver, what it looked like at the start was um, a mess, <laughs> a gigantic mess. <laughs> uh, Eber Bauer, you build up your own supply lines. You build up um, a couple of supply hubs in this Polish region, and then you push along. The railways towards the supply hubs. You make concentrated pushes with armor or fast units and capture the hubs. You don't just push the entire Red Army back, you make piercing attacks towards the hubs and then you have supply. Like the entire front stable? It's just Lithuania is gonna go and there's nothing I can do about that. Oh yeah, Lithuania is gonna go. They held on bravely, but, uh... Oh, boy. Oh, 
Oh, but we're fixing the country slowly, but surely we're fixing the country. Oh, we're gonna... Oh, no. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is it, though, for this one. Uh, they've got that victory point left. <laughs> so, technically, they're not capitulated yet. There is, there is still hope. Not a lot of it, but some. Eh, maybe Link, but when I make naval invasions, I like them to matter. And just do the big ones, where you just go in guns blazing. Okay, um... Part of me wants Rokosovsky. But I don't think he's gonna matter. So I'm thinking army regrouping or air combat training. Uh, <clears throat> or I get the military theorist for cheaper doctrine. Chief of the army. Yeah, we don't have the good one. Uh. <clears throat> Ooh, army defense specialist, actually. Offense specialist. Hmm. Hmm. I'm tempted to hire this guy. Ooh, army organization. I think I want army organization. Yeah, Tanatuva was annexed, I think. I can't find them on the map. Oh my god. Mm. Uh, now hire army organization guy. Where are you? I saw you earlier. Uh, there we go. Okay, the army should be a little bit better now. Oh, red bubbles. Oh. Hold girdle. I saw that. Reinforce. Oh, Germany is coming for us. With a vengeance. I think Lithuania's gone. Yeah. Lithuania has capitulated, but we still we still hold on to a slice of Lithuania. A small slice of Lithuania is still ours. No, Romania, I don't need your help. You, you just get in the way. Tanutuva is the heart of the common turn. This one province is a powerhouse. Look at that, 93,000 population. Ooh. <clears throat> Also, China is actually pushing back. I sent them 15,000 guns. Look at what they've done. Oh, they're coming back. Uh-oh. Uh... Mimi last stand. Um... Oh. oh god, they're really, really coming for me. Um... This terrain really isn't defensible. I should just give this up, I think. And fall back to the other side of the river. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not my proudest moment, but... Sorry, Lithuania. Can I evacuate these guys? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, these are gonna be a pain to get out of here, though. <clears throat> oh, actually, not as bad as I had feared. Alright, everybody's leaving. <clears throat> Good. Okay, we'll sit on this side of the river. Uh, perfectly. Uh oh. Oh, is that my supply hub? Oh, thank God. For a second there, I thought they'd taken my supply hub. <laughs> okay, they haven't taken my supply hub, but they have pushed us another tile. <laughs> it is getting pretty nasty down here. Okay, sorry, Vindex. I got so caught up. Um, I, I got too caught up in the moment. I'm sorry. Uh, blow the supply hub now. There. Oh, God. It just keeps getting worse. Every time... I think, eh, we've got this under control. Something happens. Also doesn't help that we are fighting under some of the reddest air possible. What do I want? Um... Uh, <clears throat> Army regrouping, I guess. Or I could save up for total mobilization. I've got the manpower. Army regrouping would be nice, but so would something to do with the air. Weather expert is great. Uh, air safety expert is also great. They're all pretty great. Yeah, ground support. I guess, but I don't have a lot of cast. Um, I'll pick this guy. Got a, a respectable amount of fighters now. Uh, Actually, a fairly decent amount of cast as well. I mean, my planes are pretty terrible, but I have a respectable amount now. If you're wondering why I'm saying no to the Afghani airplanes, uh, Afghani support, is because I, I don't want their shitty troops. <coughs> China's going ham on Japan, though. Those free guns are really paying off. Alright, German army infiltrated. Let's infiltrate... Ooh, strength and resistance. What does this do again? Oh, very interesting. Strengthen the resistance. I don't think it matters for the AI. Let's just infiltrate a bunch of stuff so I can see what they're doing. <clears throat> no, I, I don't. I don't use those cheats. Konehoff, that's a good idea. I'll try and get him on the phone. He's a busy man, though, so he might not pick up. Alright, Zukov, are you available yet? No. 
Kunyev. Okay, I've got a bunch of new field marshals as well. Uh, how many more tanks do I need? Two thousand. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> okay. The railroads are getting built, but it's not enough. I need more. I need more. I need more. Why can I not upgrade this railway? Uh, it is being upgraded. Okay. This is all being upgraded. This one still needs to be upgraded. <clears throat> And make sure the railway upgrades go first, and then I'll keep building mills. Why? Well, because I don't want my troops to starve. If they starve, they don't fight that well. Oh, my tanks are attritioning, you say. Uh, oops. Let's just put them on Moscow. <laughs> Why are my tanks attritioning on Moscow? All right, let's let's put half on Oral then. Is that better? Yeah, that looks better. Uh, artillery, we're we're catching up. We're catching up. Uh, although I know, I know, but we've only just stabilized this. Like, this is what I sit through when I record disaster saves. I have to suffer for hours just to get things stable, and then build up for that big clap back. I mean, that's generous. Kinda like it, but... Uh, sure? Right, um, sit back, relax, and join the show. What is this? Research speed, ooh, division attack, ooh. Some of these are really good. <sighs> Which one do I want, though? Recovery rate, okay. Hmm. All of them are pretty either useless or really good, and I want all of them. Yeah, I'll settle for that one, it's cheap. Yeah, we don't really have that many sieves, I know guys, I know. It's it, it, This is what they gave me to start with. So far our losses, 800,000, but we have killed 1.3 million Germans, so I'd say I'm doing fairly okay. I'm trying, guys, I'm trying my best. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Link, I want my core defense. The Allies have literally done nothing except liberate Sardinia and dick around in Greece. That's it. But they have Africa. I'll, I'll give them that. They have liberated Africa. <clears throat> China really coming back strong with those guns. Oh, love to see it. Green bubbles all around. Not a single red bubble in sight. Oh, Patriarch is in. Uh, what do I want now? Huh. Da, 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 da. I think I'm stable enough to take military organization, but I'm not sure. 
Might just be best to do the transpolar flights and build up my air force. The reason I'm not merging the tanks is because even if I did, I'd end up with three divisions. That's really not a lot. I'll just wait until they're sort of decent and eight divisions are a lot easier to work with. You think army debuff is more important than air debuff? I don't know, man. Like, our airplanes could really use a, a little bit of help. <clears throat> ah, yes, you make a good point. Foreign experts and then towards the extra research salt. I got some mills on the way as well, which is going to be very nice. Very nice. We are starting to fix everything now. I'm feeling a lot more confident now. <clears throat> Doing this live is also a little more tricky because I need to keep an eye on the chat. Uh, Vindex, oui, je parle français, mais pff, pas très bien. Donc, mais je comprends la langue tellement. So yes, I speak French, not a, not very well, but I understand most of it. But I am by no means bilingual. Oh yeah, I'm constantly muting my mic because I'm blowing my nose. Ugh. Well, it's a lot of tanks to beg for though. It's a lot of tanks, Cobri. How many factories does Germany have right now? Uh, let's see. 429, of which they have 200 mils, 174 sieves. Yeah, we, um... We're not really competing, are we? <clears throat> I am from Flanders. That is the north part of Belgium. Ooh, I want the Patriarch. <clears throat> I speak Dutch. That is my native language. Yeah, you didn't really handle your uh, industry very well. So as a result, we've got this pretty bad lack of civilian factories. Uh, it's not great. It's not great at all. Uh... Never know which one of these to pick. Inventive leadership's okay. Engineering school's not bad, but other than that, wouldn't really know. I'll take this one. <clears throat> and I'll hire the. Mm, hmm. Army regrouping guy. I mean, there's no real guide. Miracle. It's just a lot of stuff to consider, but keep an eye on supply. Make sure you're building the right amounts of equipment and don't fight an enemy that you don't need to unless you can take him. <laughs> yeah, that fit you. I speak Dutch. I speak Netherlands. Okay. Uh, heroes forward, sure. I guess. <clears throat> oh, now I want that design company. Oh, this one is such a good, good pick. This is actually one of the first things you want. The thing I cannot pronounce is, is amazing. You want this early, it is going to be a lifesaver. Trust me. <clears throat> Yeah, sieve greed, John. Full sieve greed. Just never stop building sieves until Germany has pushed to the Urals. And yes, this is a disaster save. 
And we do have Alaska, so if we ever want to invade Canada, oh boy, we've got a foot in the door. Can I counterattack? Well, it looks like we might be able to. Quick, somebody turn up the Soviet national anthem. We're going to war. Berlin, here we come, baby. Yep, never mind. Never mind. Bubbles are red. Bubbles are red. Okay, this is all good. I could get that or better mediums. I know tanks don't matter, but you know, <clears throat> it's it's still cool. Another 24 divisions. What am I even going to use these guys for? Smirna. Two, three. Uh, I need a field marshal. Any field? Uh, a better field marshal, please. Uh, Rokosovsky? No. Konyev. Yeah, I'll, I'll hire Konyev. Uh, place you and... Konyev has this job now. Okay. You can hold that part of the front. We are just gonna overwhelm Germany once the attack starts, though. <clears throat> there is no way they can keep up with us. Uh, we are gonna need to fix... Our total lack of supply, though. Ooh. Supply is bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, too many mills queued up. How is this looking? Ugh. Pretty nasty. This one's as high as it's gonna go, so... Okay. <clears throat> That's the plan, Cuddly. That's the plan. We'll try to start making some encirclements once the tanks are ready. Oh, I have too many divisions on this guy now. Oh, I forgot. I'll just delete a couple. One, two, three, four, five, six. You guys go play Coast Guard. <clears throat> I'm actually running with 21 with infantry Vindex. Mostly because I find these the the a nice balance between chunky and punchy. So they, they do good damage and they're pretty capable of holding. It may not be meta, but I find them to work quite well. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna hold my air once again because everything is just getting shredded again. Eh. <coughs> I don't need Estonia's expeditionary forces. Estonia means well, but their troops are just... You know, just... No thanks. Uh, the tanks I'm making are not the cheapest. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, they're 22.1 production cost. So they can be a lot cheaper. I I just like having decent tanks instead of really cheap but numerous ones. Uh, I can start taking some artillery off. More tanks. Okay, everything is coming up just the way I wanted to. I don't even need that many factories on trucks, really. Slowly putting everything back together, and then we can counterattack <clears throat> eventually.
I'm doing it. I am counterattacking. <clears throat> we'll slowly push them back to the river. The only problem then is I have to get across the river, which is going to be difficult. Which is actually going to be really difficult, come to think of it. Alright, goodbye Arno. Uh, I have a guide on how the new supply system works. It's up on my YouTube channel. Uh, maybe somebody in chat would be kind enough to go find it, because I am uh, a little busy. But yes, <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a guide. Oh god, I'm sorry, I just keep keep getting these coughing fits. Uh. Alright, that's the artillery caught up. Uh. China. China is winning. They've pushed well into Manchukuo, and they've got uh, Japan bottled up, really. They've counterattacked, they've been destroying divisions. I could just... Send them another lend lease to be sure. <laughs> it would be funny. It would be funny if I do it another. Yeah, let's let's do it just because it's funny. I'm gonna send them everything I have of my my really old garbage. Uh, want to hold on to the rest of the stuff though. I'm gonna need that myself. You, you can't really quickly explain the Soviet focus tree, but in short, <coughs> you want to rush down to the block of rights and Trotskyites as quickly as possible. Every time you need to pause because you're doing a focus, pick focuses from the industrial branch, or you pick focuses from the common turn branch under, where are we? Uh, no, here, from the internal affairs branch under either uh, positive heroism or collectivist propaganda. Once you've got the block purged, you improve the military under strengthen the mobilization plan, cohesion first rehabilitated military, and then military reorganization. That's the short of it. <coughs> oh god, I'm sorry. I'm just even having trouble talking. <clears throat> Yay, research slot. Wait, that's not a research slot. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, Sans, yes. Yes, and I'm gonna need all of them. Because I have like, I don't even have half of the factories that Germany does. No joke. More infiltrations. Always infiltrate more. And by the time I attack Germany, I think I can just walk in. Ooh, they got a lot of they got a lot of planes. Ooh. <clears throat> I think I have almost as many divisions as they do. It's just the industry is gonna fuck me. <clears throat> no, static anti-air does nothing. Uh, static anti-air only shoots down uh, tactical bombers that are doing tactical bombing. Nothing else. It, it does literally nothing else. Trust me. I missed that. I like landing in Italy. Oh, that's good. Tempted to go on the offensive, but I know I will end up regretting it. Uh, how many tanks am I short? A thousand. Fifteen hundred tanks, though. Hmm. What if I just merge a couple more divisions? Let's 
So that leaves me with six tank divisions, but... I'm only 500 tanks short now, so I, I think I'm going to bring these guys to battle. M maybe in the south here? <coughs> uh, try a breakthrough through here? They got really poor supply. I'll try to push there. Yeah, I, I think as well, Ertuo, uh, 1738. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. This is just... Oh, this is awful. Okay. Um... I want American experts. We need the Americans to like me. Oh, well, this isn't happening, is it? Uh, it might be. This is probably not ideal, though. Ah, uh, we'll see what we can meme. We'll see what we can meme. If we can meme it, we can dream it. Come on! <coughs> push through. I said push through. Don't disappoint me now, Zukov. You've been sitting on your ass all day. Ooh, Cypher. I've left you to sit on your ass for an entire evening. Just bear with me here. Nope, it's not happening. And it's probably... Uh, I don't even know what the hell it is. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah, we're already out of supply, even though we are two tiles away. Two tiles away from our supply hub in Dnipropetrovsk. That's great. Real fucking great. I need to research these logistic companies. Yeah. So these tanks are useless. That's good to know. Ah. Uh, I could do the propagandas, but I'm trying to improve these uh, this design company first. Transport, yes, or... Oh, where's the supply one? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, this one. How is the US? Do you still hate me? Uh, can we non aggression? No, we'll never get our relations up high enough there or here. <coughs> That's a problem because I need relations to be up high. Oh, this might work. It's not what I would have liked, but. Eh. <sighs> oh, one second though. I got my lab results in for my COVID test. I just gonna need to check that. Probably fine. Ugh. 
course it doesn't work. Oh, well, it's fine. I, I need more. I, I need to go, like, downstairs to get my wallet, and I don't want to do that, so I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna get the logistics companies. These are important if you're building tanks. Really important. Some supporting attacks. Open up as much combat with as possible. Keep pushing through. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. All right, fine. Italy's almost gone, though. <clears throat> wow, these tanks just take forever to break through because of our... Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Because of our red air. Without air, you just... You're not getting anywhere. Let's put up our own air force. Uh, you know what? Sure, I'm, I don't even care anymore. Fine. <coughs> Vichy's in then. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh. Like, this is just annoying. Trying to fight through this. Ugh. I know that a city is not ideal terrain for tanks. Yes, I, I am fully aware. <clears throat> this is just the only tile I can attack. Ooh, nice. That I can attack from two fronts, so that's the reason why I'm hitting it. Uh, Transpolar flights. Approve the Air Force now or just take military <laughs> reorganization. Um, I think that one's going to hurt us too much. Let's go go improve the Air Force. Uh. If Germany redeploys enough troops, though, then I might just make uh, an all-out offensive along the front and start rolling them back. <laughs> no, they've countered me by just putting a unit there. Oh, tanks have become so bad. They've just become so bad. And I want them to be good, because I really like playing with tanks. They're just not good right now. They're pretty useless. Oh well, uh, we'll keep trying. Tanks have become very expensive, both in terms of re <coughs> research and production, compared to just lots of infantry and close air support. You will win any fight, any fight if you control the air. Spam out enough CAS and you will win everything. But yeah, it's it's fine at this point. We'll we'll break. Oh, sorry. We'll we'll break the Germans eventually. Uh, let's improve the fighters some more. Uh, who just? What? Did Italy just? What? I don't... What? 
Uh. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's right! Italy wasn't technically in the Axis, they were in that weird little faction with Turkey. <laughs> oh! Oh, Germany's in for a world of hurt now. You know what? <clears throat> Crack the cipher. I'm coming for you, Schmittler. Oh, look at that! I'm gonna pug walk to Berlin. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bubbles are turning red. Bubbles are turning red. But if I just keep attacking, if I just keep attacking, we'll be fine, right? Right? I mean, technically... We'll be fine? Maybe? You know what, that is actually a lot of red bubbles? A lot more than I am willing to endure <laughs> for the meme. Let's just... Let's not. <clears throat> what if I can punch through there? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Make it happen. Get through. Iceland, yes, whatever. I can get a little encirclement in here if things move quickly enough. It's not much, but it's an encirclement. Come on! Get in there. Seriously. Seriously. Just... What? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> ah, encirclement! We have achieved encirclement. There. <laughs> Look at that. We've achieved an encirclement. It's done. Uh, did that destroy our front line, though? That horrific attack? No. No, we're mostly fine. It's, yeah, Germany's going to be real busy real soon. get this over with. Okay, advanced mediums, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, let's improve on that. Um, what do I want here? Gas engines, yes. I want welded and Christie's with a three-man turret. Improved medium gun, I'm thinking. Radios, yes. Uh, huh. Ooh, auto loader. And engine up. There, armor up. Ooh, it's a spicy and expensive boy, but. D44, ready for action. Eh. Oh, they broke my encirclement. No! Oh, they broke through. Oh, that's so sad. I was doing so well. Ah. Oh. Oh, well. It is what it is. How much I can do about that? Uh, I'll try to push for local supply hubs then. Much else I can do. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I may not exactly be playing at the top of, top of my game right now. I'm a uh, oof. High, high levels of oof. Yeah, I'll see if I can try and break through towards the supply hubs. <clears throat> Allies are already managing to lose Italy. How? You had Germany's weak underbelly exposed? Did nothing with that. Of course they did. But why would I think the AI competent at anything? More mo oh, more military staff, I'm thinking. Uh sure. What else do I want? This one. And high yield, sure. Oh, we're just completely unable to push anywhere. Like, these tanks just... Ugh. There's no point even having them like this. The... Wherever they go, they just run out of supply. Tanks used to be a lot more fun to play with. Like, they really... For me, they've ruined tanks with no step back. <laughs> they added the division designer, which is cool, but the tanks just... They're not very good. Uh. Do I need to upgrade more railways? <laughs> I think... Oh, I'm sorry. I think most of my railways are... At the level I need them to be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know Spaniard, but this is a disaster safe that I took over, so I'm trying to run with what was there. And he had a decent amount of tanks, so I figured I'd try with them. Uh, I have considered playing some multiplayer games, but it just takes so much time. <laughs> I usually don't really have the time to sit out a full game a full game. Yeah, motorized right now is really good, and then they're gonna nerf it the next patch, so... Motorized might not be as good when you try it. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Are there any more supply hubs in the region? Hmm. Minsk. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna reach Minsk. Plus, this is muddy. I could make like a push, but I doubt I'll get anywhere. <clears throat> the art division's just not that great. I mean, you're looking at the stats of these tanks. I mean, this, the tank division, yes, it's not that great. I, I should probably have designed something else. Or are you looking at what I designed here? This is not looking great either. I, I am more than willing to adjust. I just... I don't really... <clears throat> Sorry, I don't really know how to play with these new tank designer stuff. Like, I know I'm supposed to be really good at the game, but I don't understand this mechanic. 
There's <laughs> oh my god. There's too many numbers here for me. I am not a numbers guy at all. Okay, so I forgot to turn on my microphone again. I was coughing. Sorry. <laughs> I accidentally muted myself. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I got distracted trying to micro. Then I realized this is terrible terrain to micro in. Because these are uh, mud provinces. So nothing I do here matters. It's just wasting equipment, wasting tanks. All of this is muddy now, so pushing to Minsk is a no-go. Pushing Kiev is virtually impossible, I think. Not without uh, makeshift bridges. <clears throat> I would need makeshift bridges to get across. Uh, pushing in this region, zero supply. Unless I take that tile. So maybe if the infantry helps out, I can make something happen. <laughs> no, no memes. Wait, what? Did anyone else just see Belgium has capitulate? Oh. What? Uh, 
I'm just gonna look away. Well, things are looking dicey for the Axis, though. That's a big allies. It's just, they're also shit, so... There is that. Yeah, time to pull the tanks away from there. I'll f just put them here somewhere. I don't know anymore. I'm just getting real tired. <coughs> Okay, add stuff. Um, support artillery, I want motorized recon, and I want logistics. Probably gonna be a couple hundred tanks short again. Uh, yeah, like 500 medium tanks short. <coughs> Focuses. Uh, da, 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 da. This no, this is my my current template. It's not the world's greatest, but twenty one infantry it, it works. I could go down to fifteen combat with it would probably work just as well, but this works. I could add logistics companies to the infantry, I guess. Can I afford it? Ooh, no, I cannot afford it. Ooh, I need a lot more stuff. <laughs> yeah, my tanks have arrived and supply has vanished. I don't even want to have these tanks anymore, like... It's just not good, they're a waste of IC, but I have them! They're here! I've been building them for years. Thanks, Hackers Playground, that's very helpful. Yes. L look at the tutorials, that's gonna... Real good. Re re real good, yeah. Is that, I've, I've not played this game extensively, no. I, I don't know anything about this game at all. Funny though. It seems like every patch, I know less and less about this game. They don't really do a great job at explaining what's changed, do they? If I can take the supply hub though, we'll be fine. I'd appreciate it if you didn't assume I know nothing about this game. It's, it's not like this is the first time I'm playing Hearts of Iron 4. You should see- ah, there we go, we've got supply. You should see the mess I pulled this guy out of. It's, it's not like I'm an idiot. I'm just having a moment, I guess. Uh. Look, I know there's a lot of stuff I need to invest in. You gotta realize what I had to do just to get to this point, guys. Come on, give me some credit. It's not like I'm retarded. And yes, I know, it's, it's a bad word to say. Fine. Not dumb. Is better? Not dumb. I know my way around Hearts of Iron 4. Oh, we've had tanks for ages. They were just parked in Moscow, Victor. Oh, George. Sorry, George. Oh, boy. 
come on, just... Oh, stop, yeah, spinning attacks, etc, etc, etc. Nope, doesn't matter. Tanks are just not good, come on. Yay, encirclement. <coughs> okay, now close pocket. Yay, I've killed some Germans. Now kill more. Uh, my my org in the tank template isn't low. It's oh, it is. Uh, my bad. That's better. Sorry. Yeah, my yeah, that is better. It should be around thirty. Why is it so low, though? <laughs> oh, it's probably because I'm not uh, mobile warfare. Yeah, I'm shocked. Yeah. Okay, good catch. Good catch. Oh, it's muddy. Terrain has such a big impact now. If it's muddy, you might as well not be attacking because you're not going anywhere. trouble breathing. Well, not, not that much trouble breathing. I have trouble not coughing, which is worse. Hey, it stopped being muddy, so maybe I can counterattack now? Create some sort of encirclement? You're not getting out, and you're not reinforcing them. <coughs> Huzzah! Another encirclement. <clears throat> How is Germany doing? Oh, Germany is not doing very well. <clears throat> I think we can counterattack soon. <laughs> well, that was fun. Yes? No. Okay, one. Yes, I'm vaccinated. Two. It's not COVID. I just have a cold. I went to the doctor today. <coughs> I'm fine. <clears throat> I got three shots by now, so I am 75% Pfizer. No, wait. Three shots, so 33% Moderna, 66.6 .6 repeating percent uh, Pfizer. Yes, I am some sort of Moderna Pfizer hybrid. <coughs> How is our stockpile looking? Uh, ta, 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 ta. You know what? You know what? Let's see what this does. I mean, that's a lot of red. Yikes. A, a little, a little bit too much red for my taste. That's fine. We're almost done. 
If you want to send me a disaster save, you can do so via my business email. I have that up on my channel. It has all the information re you need, really. <clears throat> I should probably be motorizing all of these. I wonder if I have enough trucks for that. I do. Nice. How is China doing? Well, I've... Could be better. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, all right. Let's keep building up the fighters. Oh, right. Of course, because I'm using tanks, I have already run out of supply, as expected. Uh, <coughs> I guess we're not attacking then. All right. Halt, 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 everything. Halt. Uh, what do I use these tanks for anyway? I, I, I just want to push into Kiev or Minsk. But it feels like everywhere I turn, there's this, this massive... Massive roadblock of Germans there. <clears throat> no, I shouldn't send my tanks there. That's pointless. Um... Could call in Turkey and then just steamroll Bulgaria. Or I could... Ooh, what if I called in Romania and memed from here? <coughs> it opens up possibilities. Yeah, this hasn't been my best work let's say uh, a little a eh, little little embarrassed a little embarrassed could have gone better then again could have gone worse I've not lost so there's that <coughs> push through the Kiev. Oh, if the tanks have fuel, they can actually get going. Hey, I've made it to Minsk. Does, does the railway hook up? No, the railway doesn't hook up, but it will soon. Attack there, attack there. Go, 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 go! Make this bigger. Expand! If it looks stupid and it works, is it really stupid, though? <laughs> okay, to, to get the other half of this, I am gonna need to naval invade, I think, yes. Unless my tanks can punch through. It does look like the tanks are actually getting through. And I do have the entire railway because I'm advancing along the railway. <coughs> Alright, let's redeploy the air. Uh, over the Baltics. This guy, this guy is gonna need to start attacking soon. 
You <clears throat> start pushing. I'm gonna start applying as much pressure as I can. I need these guys to hurt. To be in too much pain to really do anything but retreat. And I know this is not optimal use of tanks. I just, I j just want to get the front line moving. <coughs> Come on, keep moving, boys. Keep moving. Yes, the boys are moving. The boys are moving. Okay, 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 okay. Good. Keep the infantry moving behind. We might actually get something done. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, they've got a division there, but I should be able... Okay, fine, Switzerland. Okay, I should be able to take Palanga. No, they got a division in on time. Ah, annoying. And it's actually full org, so I'll just go north. Uh, sometimes I don't understand how the AI is able to move divisions quickly. Like, a lot more quickly than the player can. Uh, it's fine, I guess. If I can, I just gotta punch through here. Some diversionary attacks here, a diversion there. Go, 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 go! Uh, we're gonna get the Palanga this time, though. Yes! Okay. This whole thing is now encircled. <laughs> they got one port to supply all those troops. That's not gonna be enough. Konyev is gonna come in and crush that. My armor is going to advance from the other side, and we are going to crush them between hammer and anvil. Hopefully. And what little air I have is struggling here, but it, it should help. It should help. This... This hurts Germany. Like, this hurts Germany bad. Alright, let's assist on this side with this army. Go! Two-pronged attack. Well, three-pronged attack, technically. Love to see it. Love to see it. Especially after all the suffering we've done. <laughs> We're putting Lithuania back on the map. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Ah, yeah. Go on, put, put that one on Reddit, boys. Put that one on Reddit. Oh, it's nasty, but it works. Ah, uh, yes. This is the Corland pocket all over again. Oh yes, Otto. Go put it on the Alex the Rambler subreddit. <laughs> this is what a this is what a sick man was able to do. Oh god, they're so encircled. Can't even look away. I have so many things that I need to upgrade, but I, I cannot look away. Okay, casualties. Quickly, before the pocket, we've killed 2.3 million. And we've lost 1.5, well, 1.6 million. Okay. Once this closes, we'll have another look. <laughs> But this is actually not as large as I thought. Oh, never mind. This is this is actually quite a few divisions. Oh, there goes Kampfgruppe Kurland. Oh, 
there it goes. Oh, look at that. Three distinct pockets. Oh, I got him. You know, at this point, I think we can do lessons of war. Yes. <laughs> Let's finish that pocket, and then we'll see just what the German casualties are at. Oh, this is gonna be good. Two... I think, was that almost a million? Half a million, a million? It was a lot. At any case, it was a lot of divisions. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Gonna try and finish this off and then I can go to bed and have myself a little cry. <laughs> Are they weakened enough that I can push with impunity? Eh, not really. We're gonna start kicking their um, <clears throat> collective asses, though. Lithuania's back and looking for vengeance. The uh, yeah. rest of the front not looking too hot, though. Let's let's keep our advance going to their north. As usual, keep research up to date. Yeah. South is actually the toughest part because it's uh, overstretching my supply lines more than it is overstretching the German ones. I still got a lot on Kiev and I don't have any good, uh, good generals for river crossings, which is annoying. Tanks are still shredding, though. Forward! Oh! Oh, this is big. This is big. That oh, my. Yeah, this is real big. Uh, we gotta get going. Pushing into Koningsberg. And bada bing bada boom. More pockets, more pockets. <laughs> I need Konigsberg though, that is uh, the local supply hub if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> yeah. Yay, lessons of war. I don't think it matters anymore whether I pick. We've won. But I, I just want to win slightly more spectacularly. Can't let the allies have all the glory after we put up, you know, 
most of the fighting. Now, an all-out assault. They should be... Oh, we're at Danzig already. <clears throat> Let's just drive around it at the Gdynia. Yeah, this is... Uh... I think this is over. I, th I think, not sure, but I think we've won. So, are you guys enjoying this? Did you guys, did you guys enjoy my my suffering as we got to this point, uh, both physically and mentally? It was a bit touch and go there for a moment, but uh, I, I'd say once the tanks broke through, it went fairly well. Supply is the oh yeah, supply is the biggest issue really. <laughs> yeah, Lithuania is taking the land, and I don't care. I really don't care. <clears throat> Germany is actually holding fairly well in the south and the center. It's just in the north they they've got nothing left. And yes, I'm battle planning. No, battle planning isn't great, but I'm I'm tired. I've been here for far too long. <laughs> uh, the bolt, uh, my, my disaster safe mailbox is pretty good. It's pretty good. Ooh, D-Day did get stalled, but that means most of their troops are there, and I need to make big land grabs now. Take everything I can. Inflict maximum damage before the army comes home. <clears throat> Like, German Army Group Center? Holding on real tight. Oh, we're at Odessa. It's over. Ah. Germany should capitulate really quickly, actually. They will surrender at 50%. So it's not even going to be all that difficult. They've, I've got full compliance here as well, so I get a ton of factories from this. I I get I get more factories than I know what to do with. Just casually cruising to Berlin. Don't mind me. Soviet tanks about to drive into Berlin. Go on. Bada bing, bada boom. We've taken Berlin. Germany's already halfway to capitulation. Oh, Thomas, 77 Norway with a 150 Norweger Kromer. Enjoyed your suffering and congratulations on a job well done. Thank you. Thank you. I know this is throwing... Oh boy. This is actually throwing a lot more equipment away than I would like to. I know this is costly, but come on. We've won. It's over. I, I just want to get this done. Still, you know, it was touch and go there for a bit. Very touch and go. Huh? Some stragglers here at the back. Crush those. Now, if only there was some sort of army division. <laughs> that was even higher than a field marshal because I am running out of lines to draw here uh you go there you go there uh make this shorter i guess yeah it's fine now we're just doing cleanup really Oh yeah, good point. What if we just called in 
Ah, I was calling Romania for the meme. Now, now watch Romania fall over, flat on its face. Alright, that's Denmark dealt with. Yeah, that's a very long Lithuania, actually. I, uh... I don't know how I feel about this, Lithuania. Uh... Maybe this is a little bit too much? Oh god, it's just... it, it just looks worse. Alright, um, I just got a text from my wife. I, I need to go. The uh, baby's crying and she needs my help. Um, I think it's safe to say this is saved. We've won. This is over. I want to thank all of you guys for sticking around. It has been wonderful. <coughs> Except for the fact that I'm really sick. <laughs> so, thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one. Don't worry about it. I might actually do a video on this one. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.